Ever since sports have been around, there have been people trying to sell you things to make you better at them. Whether you're talking Gatorade, power balance, wristbands, or keyboards, every sport, electronic or otherwise, has companies sponsoring teams and players saying, buy our product and you'll be that much better at the game. Well, back when I was just a little 1200D low bronze player, I too wondered, what do the pros use? I want to use that too. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm going to tell you everything that you should get if you're a casual gamer, and what you should get if you're seriously looking at becoming a better player, and whether or not you actually need any of this. Now I'm not doing this to devalue any of these products or anything. In fact, I think almost all of them and their companies are just really awesome. We don't have too many products or companies in esports like those power balance wristbands that are just scams. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. Here is my League of Legends Players Guide to Fancy Gaming Products. Let's start off with the tools you'll be using to play the game. There are plenty of keyboards, mice, and headsets out there that you can use, but in the end, unless Razer wants to pay me to say otherwise, none of this is an absolute necessity. Any mouse, keyboard, or microphone that serves its basic purpose will be good for an average player, but there are a couple things you may want to keep in mind if you're a bit more of a hardcore gamer in the market for some new gaming hardware. Firstly, if you're looking for a new keyboard, you may want to look into getting a mechanical one. Those are the ones that click over and over, you hear them on a lot of pro players, streams. The clicking may seem annoying to some, but I have to say, it feels absolutely amazing to use one of these keyboards yourself. As silly as it sounds, it really is a nice bonus that's hard to live without once you get used to it. It's satisfying and has a really crisp, precise overall feel. If you ever switch from a mechanical keyboard back to a normal membrane one, it'll feel mushy to you. I don't know if I would go so far as to say using a mechanical keyboard gives you an advantage over those who don't, but it definitely will make you feel much more precise and much more comfortable. If you don't like the noise, there are some that don't click but if you don't have the money to get one then that's perfectly fine. For those of you who are looking to invest in a nice durable keyboard though, mechanical ones have longer keystroke lives, are often much sturdier, and feel much more accurate to the average person. Having a good mouse is also important, but again you don't have to go out and pay $100 to play well. If you have some disposable income though, you may want to look into getting some sort of fancy gaming mouse. Not only do they feel much more comfortable more often than not, but they also have a couple other advantages to them. Generally what you want to look for is a wired mouse, as wired Wired mice have slightly more immediate reactions than wireless, but make sure that it has a braided lightweight fiber cable if possible. This will let your mouse still feel wireless, you won't be tugging or fumbling with the cord or anything, without giving you any sort of delayed reaction the way a wireless mouse might. Also, if you're looking into getting one of those fancy mice with buttons on the side, you may want to look into getting one with at least six buttons, so you can bind those to your inventory slots. I don't use a mouse like that myself, but I can imagine it would be a bit easier to use your thumb to activate all those items or pop health potions rather than using your 1 through 6 keyboard keys. Headsets are a bit self-explanatory and are only really necessary if you play on a fives team and need the communication. I'd recommend staying away from anything too expensive or fancy though if you're a bit pressed for cash. There are simply other things that are a bit more important for you that you should be worrying about if you're looking to improve your gaming setup. A good headset is nice, especially if you want to have some sort of extravagant surround sound system, but I'd recommend just getting some simple thing if you aren't some sort of audiophile. Now let's go ahead and get into the fancy accessories. There are mouse bungees that you can use to help manage your cords for your mice if you're interested, but I'd recommend not worrying about them if you already have a braided cord. Mine has never given me any issues. There are some gaming glasses out there too, but they can be quite expensive and aren't really all that necessary. They supposedly help prevent your eyes from being strained, and some players will often say that they really help for people who play League for hours upon hours, but I'd suggest only looking into getting some of these if you play League for more than 6 hours at a time on a regular basis. I've been streaming for 7 hour periods of time on a somewhat regular basis, and a while ago I played League for sometimes more than 8 hours a day, but I never really had any issues with my eyes. However, one thing I have had an issue with is lazy, deteriorating play if I play or stream for more than even just two hours at a time. So if you like spending plenty of time on League, I recommend you look into getting some sort of energy drink or energy formula, and I would like to recommend that you check out G Fuel. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about G Fuel for a couple of reasons. One being they have actually sponsored me, and I want to make sure you all know that uh, they're the only company that I've mentioned that I'm affiliated with. So <laughs> I want to make sure you know that I'm slightly biased when I talk about them, so it doesn't seem like I'm trying to pull the wool over your eyes or anything by promoting their product. I get contacted a decent amount uh, by companies asking me to promote their 
MOBA game for iPad or their League of Legends knockoff or whatever product they may offer, but I turn almost all of them down for a couple of reasons. One being I either don't like the product, I don't think it works, or I don't uh, think it's worth you know, sacrificing my name to sell out for it, or I don't like uh, the game, I don't like, I, <laughs> I don't think it's fun, I don't find it enjoyable to play, or in all honesty, sometimes I just hate the company. The difference with G Fuel, though, and the people at Team Gamma who uh, make it, is when they contacted me, they were incredibly nice, and they made it clear that they only wanted to me, they only wanted me to promote it if I actually liked the product myself and I actually believed in it. So <laughs> right off the bat, they were extremely polite about it, uh, even if I showed any doubt in uh, you know my willingness to promote it. They sent me a bunch of free samples, and I have to say this stuff tastes great. It's incredibly surprisingly healthy for you, it's cheap as heck, and it actually works. It gives me plenty of energy, it helps keep me concentrated, uh, it, I actually can't drink it if it's like too close to when I plan on going to sleep, otherwise it will keep me up, and it overall actually just helps me do stuff like stream for long periods of time. I probably couldn't stream as much as I did if I didn't drink this stuff. So a uh, uh, big thank you to G Fuel for that. Most importantly though, uh, as I said, is this stuff is cheap as heck. Every energy formula every energy drink that I've tried has been more expensive, not as delicious, and hasn't worked as well as G Fuel has for me. So I'm, I am completely fine with selling out for G Fuel and, uh, and their product. I'm really happy to be working with the people at Team Gamma, and if you use the promo code GBay99 within the next week, um, the next five days maybe of this video going up, um, you will save 40% off of any purchase at the uh, Gamma Gamers shop, which which is linked in the description. Uh, that is an incredible, incredible discount, and I'm so happy that they are, inc <laughs> they're, they're incredibly nice to you guys. They really wanna make sure that they're giving you a good deal on their product if you're taking the leap of faith to try it. If you're from the future and you're watching this video after that deal has expired, you can still use the promo code GBay99 to save at least 10%, but um, if you guys do try it, uh, hopefully there will be many more discounts and many more giveaways for you uh, that I'll be doing over Facebook and Twitter and in some videos videos and on stream in the future. So stay tuned for that and uh, definitely try out G Fuel. I don't mean to turn this into some infomercial for G Fuel or anything, but I do want to just make sure you guys know about it because it's a very unknown product in the League of Legends scene and I want to make sure that uh, that I can do whatever I can to help spread, spread the word about it because it's a very nice product that actually works. The people who make it are incredibly polite, incredibly good-hearted people and uh, it's it's just great. Anyway, now that I'm done selling out, Sell out. I want to finish off this video with a pretty important statement. Having a good headset is nice. A responsive keyboard and mouse will help you out a lot. And of course, I recommend you check out energy formulas like G Fuel if you play League for more than three hours at a time or so. All of these things will help you out in various ways, but it's important to remember that there's nothing you can buy that will automatically make you better at League of Legends. It's actually just like making videos. Just because I spent way too much money making sure I have a good processor that will let me make videos and stream doesn't mean any of my videos or streams will actually be any good. I have to go out and make those videos myself and put my processor to good use the same way you have to jump back into solo queue and work your way up the ladder yourself, putting all this gear to use. League of Legends isn't like other games where you can pay to get ahead or pay to win. Sure, you can go out and buy a couple champions with riot points, get a more versatile champion pool and make it harder to ban you out, but none of that means squad if you don't actually take the time to go out and learn the champions yourself. I don't want to bash any of these companies or devalue their goods or services. They're all great and I happily recommend their products to everyone, but none of this stuff will automatically make you a challenger to your player. It's important that you make sure that you actually go out and take the solo queue wins you deserve rather than making sure you have the same setup as your idol. A comfortable mouse is important and there are magic powders like G Fuel that can help keep you concentrated and energized, but no energy drink will give you more knowledge on a champion, no keyboard will improve your decision making, and no product will win your games for you. You still have to go out and take those wins yourself. Thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.